Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to the last week. Previously, we completed another day, and then found some startling reveals. Now, I tried going down here before, and it really wasn't much of anything, but we'll try it again. Key labeled triple X and a battery. X gonna give it to you. Whoa! I guess it does, was given to me. Where am I? Mmm. Yeah, that's why you gave me the battery. I should really charge my camera. What is this? A pile of trophies. Oh. I should have went to the door that was open. That was dumb. Let me see something real quick. No, look at the door. Is it really just the open door, or is it a trap? Let's test this theory out. No, it's just an obvious trap. Dang it! Okay, so which door is it? Which one is the right door? Is it door number one? Door number two? Or door number nine? I'm gonna pick this one, Bob. Dang, I suck. Alright, next one. This one, for sure. And it was a far left one! Got my first try! Would I win? Pride? Well, you really like trophies. Some kind of trophy fetish or something. Item? Well, I should definitely make a save here. It's a phone. Operating monitor. Take a look. I made everyone drown into internal suffering. All for that, for that meaningless endeavor. Try again. Are you crazy? I'm back here for more than a hundred of times. And everyone blaming as the one who started this. Is true, then I'm the one holding the last page. All the tor tormented souls can only wait for the day I finally change the calendar. But excuse me. I have something more important to do. Pam, my dearest student, no matter how much you've changed, I will never abandon you. For that goal, I'm willing to give up anything. Hmm. Where's this ladder lead? Trap! Really? There's a trap everywhere? Okay. May we clean this up? Are, are you evil? What are you doing in here? Who are you? Where's Mr. Wally? I should be the one asking who you are. Did you touch anything inside here just now? No, sir. A good girl should not lie, you know. Never mind. I just want to know what do you want. I'm just looking for someone. You mean that damn foul mouth security guard? You guys look pretty similar. You have yellow eyes like you're a shadow person. Mr. Wally was the man behind everything. He was tricking me, maybe you too. He's really dangerous. Hey now, it's not good to go around putting random blame on the dead. Mr. Wally is not dead. I'm telling you. I know what that you're gonna say. Jeez, because I'm the girl who talked to him through these cameras. Why don't you believe me? Right? <laughs> the stranger guy mocked me with a fake voice. Its shrill pitch was really infuriating, but he seemed as if he actually knew full well what's in my head. How did you know? Because I'm the culprit. Because I'm the one watching the feed from those cameras. More importantly, every scene from every corner of this school I never miss. What? Huh? Any questions about Wally? Why are you sure that he's already dead? Because I murdered him. His corpus was gone when I came back on Tuesday, and there was another security corpse instead. And why are you so sure that when time passed from the day they died to the next, 
the dead people's corpses would not automatically disappear or be hauled off to a pit. Well, that's not how nature works. Should we really be, like, mentioning that in this situation? Hey, we're talking about supernatural stuff here. Let's say it works on principle. Do you have proof? Have you ever seen a corpse existing past a day? Or have you not even gone back to check? Well, uh... His retort may be dumbfounded for a while. It's true that I never saw a corpse remaining in the same spot past a day. Because I can't go back to the room where the corpse was anymore. I don't know how much to confirm anything as well. How would you explain about the ID card? That's very easy. Think about it like this. If Wally is clever enough to trick Illuminati into his trap, why would he ever overlook such a basic thing like the ID card? If I were him, I would check that everything was impeccably in order. As for fooling about his death, forget about it. It couldn't be possible for him to set everything up in less than a minute. You know. Yes, I know, I know it very well, since I've been watching the monitor all along. <laughs> Who exactly are you? I'm a small time computer instructor. I'm asking you again. What is your involvement with how the Luminae are stuck and frozen in space? Or this 47th year incident? Involvement? Hmm, you could say that. To put it simply, I'm what you've been calling the mastermind, I suppose. But I can't tell you my purpose, girl. You're too worthless for that. So it was you. Person I don't know. Slow on the uptake, are we? Within less than a second, the door slid shut. Cutting off the only way in and out with the glaring signal light which I'm still unable to interpret. The teacher grabbed my wrist with an overwhelming strength and looked at me with creepy eyes. What are you doing? Do you want to know more? No, let me go! I will tell you something, little girl. You're too young to be involved with death. And you may just pass the point of no return. <laughs> I just... Please. I don't want to know anything anymore. There, there. Don't cry, you vicious murderer. You've also killed many already. Don't pretend to be innocent. Those were just souls, as far as we know. They were already dead. I didn't kill them. I do think that making a soul unable to adorn anew is more cruel than killing someone alive. Whoops. Listen to me. This is the last chance. Scram the hell out of here if you still want to see the sunrise. Or you can run away in school all you want. What? Who? What? I think I have bugged it out, because you're supposed to, like, capture me. And I lured you into the corner, so you can't. I guess we're supposed to run for a lot. Oh my god. Where'd I go? Here? Wait, there's a letter. And I like letters. I had the key to the principal's office key in the homeroom. Hurry and grab it before electricity stops working. It's in the biography of Julius Caesar. Let's see, typical stuff, for example. Oh, that's probably for the other puzzle. That's for, uh, how to decrypt that letter on the wall. Please give up and go back if you don't want to suffer anymore. Just forget this another request. First, I want to tell you one final thing. But you know that since the first letter, I'm, I'm sorry for not telling you that by the time you're reading these letters, I'm already dead. I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to discourage you, but now it's time to tell you the whole truth about being in this not school. Principal's office key. For clear. Is the power gonna actually literally shut off? Is it my flashlight ready? <laughs> Not today, Mr. Kiminkle. I have no idea what that means. We're getting out of here. Change that calendar. Mm. Yay!
free. Day complete. See you tomorrow. <laughs>
blood stain. Take off the video camera to save power. Evil. Got battery, got key. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do that. Okay. We have a key. Key triple X. Gonna give it to you. Now he's gonna figure out where we're gonna use it. Gotta get back. The camera charging room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, I'm not sure if you're deadly or not. I don't think all of them are deadly. I think it's the video camera ones are. If they're invisible, don't touch them. They don't want to be found. Let's see. That's a lesson we're teaching kids. School schedules, final semester test, final semester test, unofficial test result announcement, transcripts. Use the locker key, I got the key to the central control room. I'm hoping that it has to be used in combination with key triple X, gonna give it to you. Cause that's, cause that, that door was locked, that's the only thing I feel like I can do there. Maybe the key will unlock this room. Yes. Cool. Let's find some loot. Let's see, note, I hide the exam papers in shop one. Supposed to be handed at room 133. Okay, so now we just need to track down where these things are. I'm unsure if shop room one is referring to the cafeteria. We'll check it out later. First, let me check this area out, see if I missed anything here. Weird. Got a key labeled shop one. Okay. Use the key to shop one. Oh. Stack of test papers. I have 50 test... Am I expected to give these to every student? I gotta pass them out. If you've been murdering people, you, know, you can't pass out all the test papers because you've murdered everybody. You're supposed to be patient. Not murder people. Just give out the test papers. What kind of student council president are you? Oh, great. These dang ghosts. I should just murder them. They like to block my doors. No, no, Manly. You shouldn't murder people. What am I thinking? Or should I? <laughs> no, I saw you spawn in that brief moment. I saw you spawn and go for the kill. No, <laughs> oh, that ain't happening. These batteries are becoming useful. Cause I'm not getting back to this enough to make it worth it. That was almost a chill sandwich. Hmm, are you supposed to be blocking that, or is that just... Shoo! I think you're just normal students. Right. Yeah, there was a message there. That you only see if you have the... video camera on. What about over here? Well, it's also locked. What is... Oh, we're in a weird... We're in a bizarre adventure. 
Oh, nope, maybe I did need the video camera. Let me double check. Yes, I need, I need both. The flashlight and the video camera to navigate this maze. Which I will navigate with no problem whatsoever. Except for this dead end I just reached. But no matter. For I have items. Two batteries. And then we have to do that whole thing with the UI for the video camera doesn't quite turn back on very easily. Whoa, whoa. Not that way. This way. Freedom! For a trap! Don't bother. See it over with. Bruh. Okay, we're doing this again. And hopefully not a way that's gonna get us doomed. Whoa. Here we go. Turn the video camera off. Turn the flashlight off. Make my save. Call it a day. Use test papers. And what did that accomplish? Well, whoa, whoa, ho, ho. I saw that you spawned there. Don't think, don't think I didn't see that. Okay. Now we just, we just make our way back. We got the test papers there. That's it. Everyone's happy. You can do your test now. We live a very interesting life. Put the flashlight off. Save my game. And now what? I mean, there was things that appeared when I did the video camera in this area. I Maybe mean, we just need to go out to the main area again. I'm gonna wing it. No video camera needed. We got this. Okay. Now what? They have the test papers. I thought there was not a single person on Earth who could understand me until I met her. She's the only student who could talk with me without any sign of fear like the other students. The other kids all see me as a mean teacher. My life as a public school teacher isn't so happy. If you don't please the elders, your career path probably won't go anywhere. But I chose to be different. It's not that I don't know how to use flattery, but I don't want to pretend. It probably sounds crazy. Yeah, you may think I'm really crazy. Okay, here's the story. Please, fill me in, because I'm so confused. First of all, I didn't even want to be a teacher, so my work life has always been dreary. But you know what? I used to be a chief before. It is unfortunately that I lost the position before I met Pim. I'd look more credible otherwise. Pim is a lovely middle school student. Not that. She has really good grades in career and technology subjects, except cooking. The first time we met, that was when the school started to promote computer class. I thought there would probably be zero students who, who were interested in it, until I met Pim. She may not be the number one computer expert, but she's the one who understands me most. Pim made me experience what family means. She's like a daughter, but she never knew that. I can only keep the feeling to myself. Then on 1803-1994, I saw this Pim was killed right in front of my eyes. I couldn't do anything to help her. Instead, I just ran away like a selfish coward. They made me spend the days in deep sorrow. I couldn't even the one I love. How could I even be... How could I ever be anybody's support? With the thought in my mind, I decided to resign from my teaching career, even though other schools were eager to get a staff from the former top school. When two years had passed since, I read about how groups of Illumina kept came back to Vitasat and mysteriously disappeared. The news prompted me to dig for some old data and find a way to get near the locus of that incident as much as possible. Then I started work as an instructor again, at the school opposite of Vitasat. One night when there was nobody, I snuck into Vitasat's school with a glimmer of hope. Then I found that space and time is frozen inside. How that happened, who knows. As I completed the condition by changing the calendar day by day, I found a girl seemingly got inside by mistake. 
She looks almost like Pim. No. I can sense that she she is actually Pim. This is what I've been waiting for. That's the very goal of all the efforts I've been put into this. I'm coming for you right now. Hang on. No, what I saw was a girl being deprived of her life by something right in front of me again. No way. I'm not gonna let you die. I'll save you no matter what. That's the beginning to the unending process of me changing the calendar over and over again. I'd go back to yesterday, the day before, whatever day I end up going and hope that it would change something. I started to look for a way to hack the main control system of the school, and also a way to deal with those curses. 15th, knew how to turn emergency light on and off. 72nd, connected to the cameras in Zone A. 117th, unlocked the remote door control function. 251st, gained access to every camera signal. 252nd, no progress has been made as of now. But I will keep trying. I told you I will never abandon you. This time I'll tell you I'm the... Er, a very bad guy. And I will definitely kill you if you don't get out of here. I hope Pim will believe what I say. You will be safe if you're outside of the school. So before it's Friday, I must make her scared and escape as far as she can from here. This time she will survive. I can't bear to see her die anymore, not even once. I will try my best, I promise. Monica. Project Save Pim. So, am I Pim? Maybe. The computer instructor, huh? Why are you still here? Why did you come back? Stupid girl! Mister? The teacher threw a brown box he carried with him in the corner of the other old boxes before walking back to his desk, looking grumpy and down. The man didn't retain any trace of the creepy and friendly character he was the other day. Why do you want to stay here so badly? Have you had enough? Ever realized the danger? Oh, I know the danger. I just... I don't want to give it up halfway through. It's true that I should feel concerned. But if I run away now, everything I did will be wasted. You've said that many times, but you never make it. Making my attempt meaningless for nothing. I'm not sad or anything. You may not understand my words, but it's alright. I do. Y you do. I've read all your diary entries. Everything you did will definitely not be wasted. If you found that girl, just tell her straight. That you love her and want to save her. I said with a voice filled with hope. But his response was an empty gaze and a face of despair. The like that I had never ever seen before. Mister, are you okay? You still don't get it. You just, you know... The teacher tucked his face into his desk looking like he was about to cry, but he instead got up and walked straight toward me. I moved back a few steps, but he proceeded to speak his mind and disregarded my reaction. The student I wrote about in my diary. That's you, Pim. Huh? My name is Napa. Whoever you are now, you're still Pim Chanok to me, always and forever. What if I have to say I'm not the same Pim anymore? I mean, you should realize and accept it. So a reincarnation? Pim was dead in an incident 20 years ago. Why did you say that she's still alive? You even say that she is, in fact, me. Do you believe in reincarnation? Just a little bit. Is this an important choice? And if I say that your Pim reborn, well, you deny it. I I'm sorry. I can't remember anything. I'm really sorry. I knew it would turn out this way. But I don't think I made the wrong choice when I decided to tell you. Guilt swelled from deep within my heart. If I was once Pim Chanok, I have done a cruel thing to someone who sincerely means well for me. Someone who has always helped me and devoted his whole life for me. But I just can't remember anything about him. I just want your permission. Will you let me protect you as your homeroom teacher again? Mister. I had no idea what I should say, but I understood profoundly how ardent this teacher's good wish for his student was. Right. I will not let you down. I smelled them for a little bit. It seemed like the receiver didn't see it, but there was another thing which warmed up that gloomy room the best. The hope that sparked in our hearts anew. The bonfire that gives us warmth despite how strong the coldness surrounding us was. From the statistics I've gathered up to now, you always fumble things on Friday. So it's possible that if you make it out alive, you will live a long life with nothing to fear. Just have to get past today, right? That should be the case. What about you? Aren't you going with me? I have to print transcripts for all the students first. So they will all finally come to an end. May I come and help you? If you're up to the task. I want to end this thing too. Alright, I've already checked all the security system for you. For you. Your way is clear. 
I guarantee it. I'm really sorry for not seeing you off. I can't leave the control room. Just do your best and put up a fight worthy of all for those dedication of mine, right? What if I can't? What if I screw up and get killed? I know you can. Yes, sir. I will not give up, and I'll come back to help you again. Get through this safe and sound, Pim. No. Not Pa. That's fine. You can call me whatever. No biggie. Okay, see you later. See you tomorrow. Now what do I do? So let's do the ever decision. See what happens. I've never believed it. I'm not Pa. Not anyone you know, sir. I'm sorry. I thought you might see that. That's well, fine. It's not like I can tell you what to believe. Whatever you think about that whole thing, will you let me support you for one last time? The teacher turned away looking for something on box and came back handing me a page of the calendar. I received a hint of guilt in my heart, but no matter how much I tried to be open to it, I just couldn't accept being Pim. The one right here is me. I am Napa. Hurry up and go change the thing. I've already opened the path. Thank you for being my side during the week. Thank you so much. As the words left his mouth, he cried. It appears this teacher's actually pretty emotional. The sight hurt me in the deepest part of my heart. Thank you for always helping me too, sir. Farewell. So, I guess we're getting in the plot now. So we're probably reincarnation of a student. I'm not sure what the massacre really is. I didn't really pay attention too much to that, but so... A bunch of students die. School gets cursed or something. Uh, some computer teacher has a kind of daughter crush on a student there and like feels bad, goes back, and discovers the things are a weird reality marble corpse party school Monica loop. And he, he spends so many cycles trying to save uh, Napa Pim, the player. So all of our deaths are canical. <laughs> Every time we die, he's like, he puts his palm on his hand, he's like, oh my god. You didn't see that coming. Essentially. Change the calendar. Ding, dong, ding. It's a good day. A good day to run for my life. Congratulations, the end. Or is it? I did it. I finally did it. I changed the last page of the calendar with my own hands. The hellish week has ended. From now on, I'll never have that nightmare anymore. I went out of Vita's side school and walked past the workers printed demolition building, just as Mr. Bali said. The morning sunlight is so bright, fitting for my new life that's about to begin. I, prom I promised myself that I'd never involve myself with the past again, because today is today, not anything else. Upon finishing the fight, I turned my eyes toward that ruins for the last time, till it was no longer within my sight. Normal end. Good luck. Oh no. He stayed behind.